Hello, welcome to a new video. I am en route to the border crossing. And I am seeing so many lorries of different uh, nationalities. I just saw, okay, so Tajikistan, I'm not sure if I already saw that one. I saw Moldova. I saw TM. What could TM be? Not Timor Lest. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what else it could be. We've just seen a Bulgarian lorry now. Yes, I just seen RO again. Oh, I guess it's Romania. Maybe that's quite an easy one actually. Romania. Oh, so many. On reflection, the lorries which which had TM are more likely to be Turkmenistan rather than Timor Lest. <laughs> We just saw a Czech Republic lorry too. We're nearly there. Christ, look at all these lorries. Well, I've made it out alive. Just gone through the border crossing. It took quite a long time. I'm not sure exactly, but maybe about an hour in total. And I didn't really know where I had to go. So I asked some people and they said, well, firstly, they said to go inside. Um, but then I got whistled at and told to go where some lorries were going. So I followed the lorries. I uh, just cut in front of them. Every time I, I saw an official, I just asked if I'm going the right way. Uh, and then it, it took me to a, a big queue of cars, probably about 12 cars. I went to the back to start with, but it wasn't moving. So I was like, oh, fuck this, <laughs> I'll, I'll go to the front. So I cut through, gave them my passport and that was all fine. Then the next queue, again, I cut to the front. This time is a bit more jumbled. There are lorries cutting in and cars and a bit messy. No one was moving at the front. I don't really know what was going on, but the lorry driver said I could go on right in front. So three officials, they wanted to know where I've been, where I'm going. So I told them that. And then I went a bit further. He, he said to go to the right. But oh, this is a massive border crossing, by the way. So I went to the right. Then an official told me to go inside. So I went inside and followed everyone else. And it turned into like airport security. So there are people with suitcases. Uh, and then I, I got into like the security, the passport control bit. And I was waiting there for about 20 minutes. And then I, I went through eventually. She had a long, good look at my passport. Definitely a few minutes. And then here I am now. So I am in Georgia. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty cool to say, isn't it? Yeah, bit of a mad one, but I'm here. I think I just saw a lorry from Iran. I'm gonna put a list of all the countries I've seen where these lorries have been from. There must be loads. This is pretty mad to think that I'm in Georgia right now. Looks pretty good so far. Very excited. Got some castle walls here, not sure what they are. Oh, it's an archaeological site. I wonder how touristy it's gonna be here. The town I'm in, well, pretty much now, called Batsum or Batsumi, is quite a big popular town, I think. There's a few hostels there, which is where I'm staying tonight, one of them. I wonder what it's going to be like. So exciting. Right, I think it's around here somewhere. It's very pretty. Very nice. Oh, McDonald's. Right, let's have a little stop off. We can have a look where we are. Oh, KFC as well. So I actually put the address in wrong. <laughs> uh, silly me. It's actually the road on the other side of those buildings. I stopped at McDonald's to get Wi-Fi because otherwise we would have had to pay a bit of money if you used to use data. Found it over there. I am in the hostel and it's um, pretty good. Having a good time here. I spoke to a few people already. I had my lunch here. I'm just doing some editing and then I'm gonna head out later. I'm actually meeting a friend, not a friend, but I haven't met him yet. Uh, I saw him on warm showers and I wanted to stay with him. He lives near Batu, 
between me. But he's actually moved out because he's travelling from Chile. So I'm going to meet up with him. We're going to go for a pint or something. The clock's gone forward, so I've lost an hour. Sorry if I was a little bit quiet and shy in that last clip. I always get a bit nervous about filming when there's other people around, especially when they're English speaking. Um, so I'll just repeat what I said, basically. Um, so I arrived at the hostel. It's a really good hostel, really nice. Uh, a couple of people in my room, but they seemed a bit quiet. So I went into the kitchen area and there was a um, pretty girl sat there uh, from Bel no, Belarus and she was lovely. And then I also met someone from India. He was also really nice. I invited him to the pub, but he's got a bit of work to do. And then another person from Russia and he was really sound as well. So already uh, met three people who are really chill. Been there for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. I am now going to a pub called the Popeyes Craft Beer Pub or something. Gonna have some drinks. And I am meeting up with a guy called Felipe. Felipe was a was a warm showers host. He was staying near this area for the whole of November. And I might have already mentioned this, but I wanted to stay with him, I think actually last night, but he moved out of his house, which he was just renting for a month because he's from Chile. And he's now just kind of floating about in the area for a little bit. Long story short, we're going for a pint. I've, I, don't, I haven't met him before, but he seems pretty sound. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now, heading off. I don't have any Wi-Fi or data when I'm not in you know, a cafe or a hostel, which is fine, I missed that challenge. This is a pretty cool place so far. It looks really, well, it doesn't look lively, but it looks like it could be lively. There are lots of bars and clubs, nice restaurants, clothing shops, wow. It's 90p for a pint. That was the cheapest I've ever seen. Okay, so I'm here with Felipe. We've already had a few pints. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> and we're here just uh, chilling in this pub. Um, and, and it's very good. Would you like to say anything, Felipe? No, I don't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, having a good time here, uh, it's very interesting and Georgia is a beautiful country. <laughs> Felipe is uh, from France. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the best country in the world. <laughs> <laughs> now, Felipe is from Chile, but you can speak like uh, six languages? Was it? Fifteen languages, mate. Fifteen? Yeah. On, on a bad day. <laughs> on a bad day. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, yeah, like eight, yeah. Seven, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, we're having a good time. <laughs> yeah, life is good, yeah. Life is good. Yeah. <laughs> Say hello everyone. <laughs> Greetings. Greetings. I have a YouTube channel so I just like to... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> there is, there is recording again. <laughs> <laughs> so I am walking back to the hostel after spending maybe four hours with Felipe, the person who I was originally going to see, and then three other people one from Norway, who was super chill, and then another one from Iran, and those two were married together, and then another person from local, so from Georgia. So it was really nice just to, to chat to everyone. I didn't feel it was appropriate to film much, if anything, really, because when you film, it just takes takes the the vibe away. I've been watching some YouTube channels recently. And I think, oh, I want to be like that. I want to be loads of, do loads of filming and capture everything. And it looks great when you're watching, but when you're filming, it's completely different. And, and it feels like everything is, is obsessed around the camera. And it just loses that sort of feeling. So I didn't do much filming at all. And I'm really glad about that because I had a really nice time. And it, yeah, it's not great for, for watching and instead you have to listen to me talking bollocks which you probably don't want to listen to. But I think it's worth it for me and that's, that's the main thing, it's about having the good experience. Had a really good time. Now I am off back to the hostel, probably go to sleep. 
and tomorrow's a new day. We'll do some exploring, meet some new people and have a really good time. Light will help. I'm just gonna pull it. <laughs> do you know how to do it? Yeah. Okay. Someone knows okay. how to do it. Oh, let's do it. I, I need help, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it's like either I'm gonna break the watch or not. <laughs> oh, it's really uncomfortable. Yeah, it's like really. Me too. Okay, now <laughs> let me like hold the watch or Oh, you can. <laughs> yeah, it's much better. Good. <laughs> Way. <laughs> Finally, success. <laughs> Come back. Go. Come back onto the safe side. Yeah, yeah, that feels like a good idea. <laughs> okay, yeah, what what are they? I don't know. Oh you were gonna say it, you were gonna say it. <laughs> What's their names? This is a Burj Khalifa. Is it? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't <laughs> This I don't know. Maybe this because you know and air attraction. Uh huh. Uh huh. No. Uh -huh. Yeah. No. <laughs> and what's that? This. Yeah. A Batumi view. Batumi, London Eye. No. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> Smile away, boys. Smile away. <laughs> what is it? This is Anino and Ali. What, what, what are they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful, yeah. I want to run. Do you want to run? Yes, I want to run and this record you go. Okay. Are you sure? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. That's one, two. It's a bit cold. 
Well, you're one stop, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs>